It's Beer Monster O'Clock. Hello guys, welcome to my channel, The Beer Monster Review. So thank you all for tuning in. For this one, um, we have a lager, an Italian lager, so to say. Um, it's Birificio <laughs> Angelo Peretti. May have slaughtered the uh, pronunciation there, but I gave it a go, didn't I? Uh, Bira Italiana Premium, which I suppose they're saying it's a premium lager in, in uh, the Italian way. Um, it's a 660 ml bottle. I picked this up from Asda. It was a, I think it was about two quid, but it was also in the uh, four for three deal. So it works out quite cheap if it's a good beer. <clears throat> it's 4.8% ABV. But guess what? It's another one of them ones. Uh, in Italy, this is 5%. Uh, it goes on at the back about how they use their special crafting methods and all that in the finest Italian mountains and all that shit. But then we just sort of <laughs> dig a bit deeper into it. It's actually brewed in the Midlands in the UK, this version. They do have a version with all them special recipes and all that that the Italians get. But we get one here. It's got this even got a little wheelie badge on. It does everything to make you think this beer has come from the lovely Italy. And uh, you get to enjoy it. But no, nah, it's brewed by Colesberg in the Midlands. So yeah, you can forget about that. And it's 4.8%. Um, so they've reduced the ABV as usual to save a bit of money. So yeah, getting sort of fed up with this sort of thing, but you know, it looks quite nice, doesn't it? It's got that sort of Peroni vibe about it for me. Uh, but this one's in a brown bottle, so you already got one little point there that Peroni hasn't. Anyway, let's crack it open and uh, see what it's like, shall we? I'm looking forward to trying this because I do fancy a nice lager. Ugh. Anyway. Nice bit of smoking on the opening there, so get the aroma. Straight away I'm getting citrus. Not a lot else. It, to be perfectly honest, it just smells like your typical mass-produced macro lager that you get here in the UK. Uh, and nothing more, nothing less. You know, it is what it is. Anyway, let's see what it tastes like, shall we? Let's get it in the glass. And it's looking like a typical mass-produced lager that you get over in the UK as well. But it's all about the taste, isn't it? It's all about the taste. It's got a lovely um, white head on it. Nice size head. Very sort of compact uh, bubbles in the head there. And it is extremely white. Nice carbonation uh, rushing up the glass there. If you can pick it up. I'd say it's a well carbonated beer, yeah, that with quite slow to medium moving bubbles. They go a bit faster at the top, but they're quite slow at the bottom. But that could be to do with the glass. It is a wee beer glass. So. Yeah, it looks nice. It's a very uh, absolutely crystal clear golden colour. Um, yeah, it looks all right. I'd say it looks better than average, put it that way, for a lager. Cheers guys, let's see what it tastes like. First impressions, don't quite like it. It's not amazing, but it is not bad at all. Let's go again. It's light, very refreshing, very crisp, quite a nice mouthfeel to it. And I'd say it's very citrusy, <clears throat> it's quite a citrusy lager. Straight away, I would say this is better than the Stella we get now, which is 4.6%, there's a bit more flavour. Getting a bit of lemon in there. Sweet malts. Mm. It's all right, it's not too bad. So I'm getting like the citrus at the start with the lemon. And then sort of sweet malts coming through. And then quite grassy kind of hops. It does say on the bottle that they use four hops 
somewhere at the bottom there. It says they use four hops. Um, considering they say they use four different hops, it doesn't taste all that hoppy, but it is there. More a grassy and maybe a slightly spicy hop in there as well, but it's very much in the background. And there is a bitterness on the end. Not a sharp bitterness. It's a low level bitterness. But it's one of them bitterness that sort of lingers through. And has that kind of moorishness to it. Quite like them bitterness in, in the lagers. It does make it really refreshing. And really does make you want to uh, dive in for some more sort of thing. One of those sort of bitternesses. It's not too bad, it's not blowing me away. It's a lager, it's, for me, it's a slightly better than average lager. I suspect the version in Italy is probably a lot better. Like the version of Stella we get compared to the one in Belgium and whatnot. For me, I'd say this is better than your Stella, it's better than your Buds and your Carlsbergs and Carlin and Cause Light, all that sort of stuff, Fosters. For me, this is on a bad par with like your Peronis and your Beer Uh It's a little bit better than Madri for me. It's kind of like you sort of, <clears throat> it's not great, but with the crap lagers we get over here, it's one of the better ones, put it that way. I've not tried, tried it on tap. This is my first time trying it, so I don't know what it's like on tap. But I would say um, it's not too bad. I'd, I'd say it's on a bad, bad par with Peroni, I'd say. And I might even just give it the edge. Before. I would, if I see this and Peroni in the shop and I had to pick one of them up, I'd pick this up. Uh, I'd say they're very similar quality levels, but the bottle is brown. And uh, that just gives it the edge for me. Because uh, sometimes uh, when I've had Peroni out of a bottle, it's been skunked. I'm not going to have that problem with this, am I? So, yeah. I would pick this up over Peroni. So make it that what you will. Of course, we're all different. That's just my opinion. Let's finish this off. <sighs> not bad. It is not bad. Um, for a lager, I'm going to give it an eight. I think that's fair enough. It's pretty good. I've enjoyed it. Went down rather nicely, as you can see. Uh, and uh, thank you guys for tuning in and uh, thank you to all my subscribers I really do appreciate every single one of you and uh, if you could do me a favour and hit that like button I'd appreciate that as well and if you're new to the channel check some of my other videos out if you enjoy them think about joining us and subscribing as well wouldn't you well, uh, mm -hmm. hopefully I'll see you all on the next one bye bye darlings